Good evening. Good evening, Laura. How are you? I'm so tired, but happy. And <laughs> yeah. Class. Excellent. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, my dear friends, my dear students. <laughs> Let's see. We're going to wait a couple of minutes to get Bye. some of your classmates into the class, all right? Maybe two more minutes, all right? Do not worry. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Ileana. How are you, Ileana? I'm fine and in the mood to learn. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Yay. That's my student. Let's see, Patricia. How are you? Fine, thank you. I am very tired. Yeah, I understand. Well, I'm tired too, but happy, guys, because today we have class and I love teaching. So I love it. <laughs> I don't have any problem with that. All right, everyone, let's just wait like two more minutes and we're going to start the class. If you want to grab your coffee, you can do it, <laughs> all right? my microphone <laughs> all right everyone we can start now first of all as always it's good to see you and congratulations to you believe me that it's pretty amazing that you are not losing any class and that's pretty good for you in these classes you're going to practice a lot also remember that in the platform you have the content right and you have exercises and those things are amazing. That's great. But in here, we are also going to develop our speaking skill and also our listening and reading skill. And actually today is going to be pretty amazing because we have some readings over there. And today we're going to check how are we doing with the reading. All right. Let me share with you my PPT. All right, let's see. Thursday, August 26, 2021. We're still in section one. Maybe today we're going to start with section two. We don't know yet. <laughs> and we are in class number three, all right? Do not forget this. And also please remember that you are part of the pre-intermediate one. All right, let's move on. Hello, Karen. Good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Fine, and you? I'm great. Thank you so much for asking. All right, welcome to today's class, Karen. Let's see, everyone. I'm going to move this. You have this conversation over the platform, right? But we know that we cannot practice alone. So we're going to practice in pairs here in your classroom. So the topic is, how is it going? Listen carefully. Today we're going to learn about B questions and also double H questions, all right? Using double H words. Let's get started with this conversation to warming up, right? Let's see, I'm going to have Patricia and Laura. 
Patricia, you are son, he, and David, and David is going to be Laura. Action. Okay. Hey, David, how is, how is going? Fine, thanks. How are you? Pretty good. So, are your classes interesting this semester? Yes, they are. I really love chemistry. Chemistry? Are you and Beth in the same class? No, we aren't. My class is in the morning, her class is in the afternoon. Listen, I am my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure, let's go. Excellent, brown girl. <laughs> Very good. I love the mood in which you are. Excellent. Now, always when we are having a conversation, I try to take some notes about how we're doing with the pronunciation. And this is in order for you to help you, right? What I want is to help. Okay, so let's see, um, Patricia, repeat after me. Interesting. 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 Excellent, very good. Then you have, Patricia, repeat after me. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. One more time. I'm on, on my way. Excellent. Now I'm Liz, on my way. <laughs> excellent, very good. No, it's okay. I actually remember that my method is that you're going to repeat three times. So it's excellent if you accomplish that. Now, what I wanted to tell you is that sometimes this is not going to happen every time, but sometimes this phrase, I'm on my way, you are going to listen in some audios on, or actually in, in movies also, that they say, I'm on my way, like that. It looks ugly actually, but that's how some people pronounce it, I'm on my way, right? But you, can pronounce it slow, right? I'm on my way to the cafeteria. And that's great. There's no problem with that. Excellent. Let's see. Thank you, Patricia and Laura. You're welcome. Let's go with Karen. Karen and... <laughs> I'm going to have Ileana, please. Okay, so Karen, you are Sunhi, Ileana, my friend, you are baby. Okay. Action. Hey, Davy, how was Ista going? Fine, thanks. How are you? Penny good. So are you class? Interesting this semester. Yes, they are. I really love chemistry. Chemistry are are you are bet in the same class? No, we aren't. My class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. Listen, I am on my way to the cafeteria. Now are free. Sure, let's go. Yay, thank you so much. Excellent. Thank you. Now, let's see, Karen, repeat after me. How is it going? How is it going? Mm -hmm. Three times, Karen. How is it going? How is it going? One more time. How is it going? How is it going? Thank How you. How is it going? Listen carefully, Karen. How is it going? How is it going? Excellent, thank you. Repeat after me, Karen. Interesting. Interesting. Three times, Karen, please. Interesting. 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 Excellent, thank you. All right, very good job. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Let's Miss. See. You're welcome, my friend. Let's see. Welcome, Mary Vanegas. 
How are you? Hi. Um, I am very good. And you, Miss? I'm great. Thank you so much for asking. It's good to see you in class, Mary. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Let's see, Diane Mata. How are you? Fine. How are you? I'm great. It's good to see you in class, Diane. Welcome. Thank you. All right. And finally, we have Nestor. Hello there, Nestor. How are you? Hello. Fine. Excellent. Very Thank good. You. I'm great too, Nestor. Thank you so much for asking. All right, everyone, I'm going to have another prayer. Anna Jansi, you're going to be David. You are David. And Diane, you are son he. Action. Okay. Hey, David, how's it going? Fine, thank. How are you? So, are your classes interested this semester? Yes, they are a really low chemistry. Chemistry? Are you and Beth in the same class? No, we are in my class in the morning, her class in the afternoon. I'm on my way to the cafeteria. Now, are you free? Um, listen, I am on... Sure? Sure, let's go. Excellent. Bravo, girls. Thank you so much. Let's see, Ana Jansi. Repeat after me. Chemistry. 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 <laughs> Also, the baby wants to learn English, guys. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go, my friend. Anayansi, repeat after me. Is in the morning. Uh, is in the morning. Mm, exactly. No se pueden comer el verb to be, everyone. Is in the morning. Is in the afternoon. Is in the morning, is in the afternoon. Excellent. Very good job, Anayansi. Thank you. I really appreciate your participation. And let's go with Mary. Mary, you are going, you're going to be Sonfi. Nestor, you're going to be David. Action. <laughs> Hey, David. How was you going? Fine, thank you. How are you? Very good. So, are you class in Terencer this semester? Uh, yes, they are a really low chemistry. Chemistry. Are are you a bit in the some the class? We are my class in the morning, her class in the afternoon. Listen, I on my way to the cafeteria. Now are you free? Excellent. Thank you so much, guys. Great. Let's see. Mary, repeat after me. Interesting. 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 Three times. Interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very really good. Repeat after me. Cafeteria. 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 Listen, listen, cafeteria. 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 Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Mary. Nestor, repeat after me. Chemistry. Chemistry. Three times, chemistry. Three 
three times, Nestor. Chemistry. 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 Excellent. Very good job. All right, everyone. Excellent. I I love listening to your pronunciation and the conversation. Very good job. I see that you have been practiced, practicing, and that's great. Now. Let's see, Miss, why do we have this conversation? You will see. Just no questions structure, all right? Please, on your notebook, copy this structure. Let's see, I'm gonna ask Ileana, please read this structure. Read it. Yes, no question structure. B plus subject plus complement. Excellent, thank you so much. All right, everyone, Co copy this on your notebook. <clears throat> All right, now listen, with this kind of questions, we don't want to go further with the information. All right, we just ask, this kind of questions to have yes or no answers, basically, right? We don't need that the person who which we are talking to, they develop a lot of inform information, right? We don't want that. We just want to know yes or no with this kind of questions. Sometimes, and I'm going to say this in the class, sometimes you're going to see in the exercises from the platform, that they are going to ask you complete this exercise using the long form or using the short form, all right? So you gotta keep an eye on that. I need you to be careful with that because if you made a mistake on writing long form when they are asking you for short form, they will take it wrong, right? So let's see, what else do we have in here? Just no questions and short answers with me. Patricia, you are going to ask the questions to, to Mary. And Mary, you are going to answer the questions, all right? Okay. Are you free? He's Mary? David. He's David from Mexico. Oh, no, no, Mary, you're going to answer. Usted va a dar las respuestas. You're going to answer. Oh, yes, yeah. I am. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. Don't worry. Start again, Patricia, please. Are you free? Yes, I am. Continue, Mary. Yes, I am. Yes, he is. No, he's not. No, he is. Is Beth's, is Beth's class in the morning? Yes, it is. No, it not. Not it is. Are you and Beth in the same class? Yes, we are. No, we're, we are not. No, we are. Are your classes interesting? Yes, they are. Not that I not. Not that I uh, aren't. Okay, thank you so much, Patricia and Mary. Mary, repeat after me. After me. We're not. We are not. We are aren't. not. Mm -hmm. We aren't. We aren't. We aren't. Very good. Repeat after me, Mary. They they are not. They are not. Mm -hmm. They are not. They are not. They aren't. They aren't. They aren't. They aren't. Bravo, Mary. Thank you so much for your participation. Let's go with Laura. Laura, you're going to be the answer. And Karen, you're going to ask 
Karen, okay? You're going to be the questions, Karen, action. Are you free? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is David from Mexico? Yes, he is. No, he's not. No, he isn't. Is bed class in the morning? Yes, it is. No, it's not. No, it isn't. Are you in bed in the sun class? Yes, we are. No, we're not. No, we aren't. Are you class are are you classes interesting? Yes, they are. No, they are not. No, they aren't. Excellent. Bravo girls. Let's see, Karen, repeat after me. Interesting. 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 Excellent, Karen. Very good job. Thank you so much. All right. Let's have Anna Jansi. You are going to ask the questions. And Diana, you are going to answer the questions. All right. Action. Your microphone, Anayans. Jancy, your microphone. Excuse me. Don't worry. Are, are you free? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is David from Mexico? Yes, he is. No, he's not. No, he isn't. Is that class in the morning? Yes, it is. No, it's not. No, it is. Are you and Beth in the song class? Yes, we are. No, we're not. No, we aren't. Are your class interesting? Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they are. Very good. Thank you so much. All right. Now you see, guys, in this ones, if you remember, first class and second class, we were re we were learning about sentences using verb to be. And we usually, it's not the usually, it's actually that we have subject plus verb to be plus complement. But in this case, what's the difference? What's the difference that you notice in here, my friends? Um, Between sentences and verb, questions. Verb plus subject plus complement. Exactly. We have the verb at the beginning. Excellent. And I need you to keep this in mind like a staple, right? When we are asking just no questions, verb B needs to be at the beginning of the question. You cannot say you are free, even if you give if you are giving the sound, you shouldn't. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you this because sometimes in movies or in audios or stuff like that, they say you are free. And that's not correct, my friends. You need to say, are you free? Because we have the verb be at the beginning. Let's see. I'm going to have now in the practice because I'm checking how we're doing with these questions. Adriana Melgar, you are going to be the answer. Welcome, Adriana. Hey, hey good evening. Good evening. You're going Excuse to be for... the answers? Uh -huh. Yes, yes, yes. Don't worry, Adriana. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's see. You're going to be the answers, Adriana, and Nestor Diaz, you are going to be the questions. Action. Okay. Uh, are you free? 
Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is baby from Mexico? Yes, he is. No, he's not. No, he isn't. Is that class in the morning? Yes, it is. No, it's not. No, it isn't. Are you and that in this song class? Yes, we are. No, we're not. No, we're no, we aren't. Are you class interesting? Yes, they are. No, they are not. No, they aren't. Very good. Thank you so much, both of you. Now, let's see, Laura. Miss, I, I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the correct way to pronounce class in plural? Places or pla classes? Classes in plural. Mm -hmm. Yes, classes. Classes. Okay, yes. thank you, very teacher. Good. The thing is that some people is very fancy <laughs> and sometimes they, they say it in another way, but the correct one is classes. All right. Excellent. Very good. Let's see. Now, everyone, let's check this. Am I providing a lot of information in these questions or no? No, right? I don't have a lot of information in these questions. Basically, yes, I am. No, I'm not. Like when you are angry with someone, you don't want to talk a lot. That's the way it is in here, all right? Simple questions, simple answers. We're not going to stand a lot in these ones, in these ones. Let's check the other ones that we have. But before, let's practice, my dear students. Laura, please read the instructions. Practice time instructions. Number one, work individually. Number two, create one question using B form. Excellent, thank you so much. All right, everyone, create one question using B form. You already have the structure and also you have examples. Finish. Excellent, very good. Remember that you can use any of the three B verbs that we have, right? We have am, are, is. We have three. Mm -hmm. Excellent, Patricia, very good. All right, let's start with the sharing time. Let's start with Ileana. Let's see, Ileana, tell me your, sent your, your question. <laughs> Are you and your classmate from Brazil? 
No, Very we're good. not. No, we aren't. Excellent. Very good, Ileana. Thank you. Laura, tell me your question, please. Are you taking a shower? Mm -hmm. No, I'm not. No, I am not. Very good, excellent. <laughs> Funny question. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's see, Adriana Melgar. Are you a teacher? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Excellent, very good. Thank you, Adriana. <laughs> very good, excellent. Let's see, Mary. Tell me your questions. Are you from El Salvador? Yes. Yes. I am. No, I am not. Excellent, Mary. That's great. Very good. Let's go with Diane. Diane Mata. If not, let's see Nestor. Um, are you my friend? Yes, I am. No, I know. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Now listen I, everyone. I had a problem with the microphone. I'm sorry. Don't worry, Diane. <laughs> let's see. Tell me yours. Is it too expensive? Yes, it is. No, it's not. No, it is. Very good. Excellent. Thank you, Diane. And Karen, let's see, Karen, your examples of questions. Is a Pedro, perdón, is Pedro a teacher? No, I, no, she's not. Mm -hmm. Very good. No, he is not. Excellent, Gary. Very good. And last, I think that I'm missing, where is Jancy? Let's see. Ah, yes. There you are, Jancy. Tell me yours. Uh, I am from the El Salvador. I am not. Okay, let's check that, Jancy. Very good. You, you have created a, a sentence, but in this case, Remember, my friend, that you need the verb to be at the beginning. Am I from El Salvador? Um, and also, Jancy, if somebody is asking you, if somebody is asking you, they should ask, are you from El Salvador? So that you can answer, Jancy. Yes? Ah. Okay. Are you from El Salvador? Yeah. Yes, I am. Because you are Salvadorian. Yes. Are you Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. Excellent, really good. All right, everyone, let's move on with this. Let's go with this information. Double H questions with B. Mm -hmm. Let's see, we have different double H words. Let's check them. Mary, please ask the questions and Ileana, you are going to answer the questions. Action. Where are you, Fred? He's in class. Song Hill. Who's Song Hill? Who Song Hill? She's my classmate. What 
sell like. It's a very exciting city. Where are you, you and Lisa from? We're from Brazil. Who are your class? They're pretty interesting. What are your class, classmates like? They're really nice. Excellent. Thank you so much, both of you, for your participation. You. Listen to my pronunciation when asking this kind of questions. Everyone, where's your friend? Remember that if you have the S, you need to pronounce the S. Where's your friend? Whose son he? Son he is the name of the person, right? That's why we have the double H word whose. What's Seoul like? Seoul is the name of the nation or country. What's Seoul like? Where are you and Luisa from? How, in this part, let's check this part, everyone. You don't have to say who. You need to say how are your classes? How are your classes? And last but not least, what are your classmates like, All right? With that being said, let's see. Laura, you are going to ask and Adriana is going to answer. Where's your friend? He's in class. Who's the song he? She's my classmate. What so like? It's a very exciting city. Where are you and Luisa from? We're from Brazil. How are your classes? They're, they're pretty interesting. What are your classmates like? They're really nice. Very good, excellent. Let's go with Patricia. Patricia, you are going to ask and Nestor is going to answer. Well, where's your friend? Who's song he? Let's see, Nestor. Answer question number two. Who's song he? Nestor, are you there? Nestor, knock knock, are you there? Se le fue Nestor, Patricia. <laughs> Let's see. You're going to practice with another one. You're going to practice with. I really. Uh. Okay. Let's see, Anayansi. You are going to answer. And please, Patricia, you can. Excuse me, teacher. I don't listen. You may start again. You can start again, please, with the first Okay. Question. Okay, thank you. Where's your friend? class. Who's so he? She's my classmate. What's Seoul like? It is a very exciting city. Where are you and Luisa from? We're from Brazil. How are your classes? They are pretty 
Interesting. What are your classmates like? They're really nice. Okay. Excellent. Thank you so much, my dear students. Let's go with Diane Mata. You haven't practiced, right, Diane? Or did you? No, I think you haven't. Oh, yes. Let me check. No, let's see, Diane, you already practiced. Let's go with Karen. Karen, you're going to practice with me, all right? You are going to ask Karen and I'm going to answer. Yes. You are going to ask. Este pregunta. We are your friend. He's in class. Who's on he? She's my classmate. What is Seoul like? It's a very exciting city. Where are you and Luisa from? We're from Brazil. Who are your classes? They are pretty interesting. What are your classes, class matter like? They are really nice. Repeat after me, Karen. Classmates. 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 Mm -hmm. Classmates. Excellent. Very good job. Thank you, Karen. All right, Thank everyone. You. There you have it. These are examples of questions with double H words. If you notice, my dear students, we also have the verb to be, right? We also have the verb to be. Let's check. I have in here the, I'm going to pass it in here, right? This is the double H questions structure. Let's see, Patricia, please read the structure. Double H question stru structure. Double H word plus B um, is R plus subject plus Compliment. Excellent. Thank you so much. Now, don't forget, everyone. In here, I forgot about it. Question mark, right? Because we have questions, so you need the question mark. You may copy this structure as well on your notebooks, please, so that you don't forget. Now, listen, it means that at the beginning of the question, we are going to have a double H words. I'm going to show you some examples of double H words and also their meanings. Then you are going to have the verb be. The verb be are these three verbs, am, is, are. And then you have your subject. Don't forget subject pronouns. I, you, she, he, right? And so on. And last, you have your complement. After the subject, you go with the complement. And last but not least, you have the question mark, all right? Don't forget about it. In case you are making some exercises in the platform, in case you're doing some exercises on the platform, you need to remember the question mark. Because if not, the platform is going to tell you, eh, this is incorrect, all right? So there you have it. If you already copy this, I will move on. We have these double H words. Laura, please read who, the information about who. Okay, who, asking about a person. Thank you. Patricia, what? What? 
asking about a thing or idea. Thank you. Ana Jansi, when? Uh, asking about time. Excellent. Adriana, where? Asking about a place. Excellent. Nestor, why? Mm, sí, Ileana, why? Asking about the reason. Excellent, very good. Mary, how? Asking about all when of the doing something. Excellent, very good. When you want to know the way of doing something, you use how, right? Don't forget. Please copy this information on your notebooks. Teacher, a uh, question? Tell me. Um, in this group, no, no including wish, wish. You also can have wish, which. No wish, which. Porque son dos diferentes. Wish, wish es deseos. Y which, Deseo. es cuál. Y cuál sí entra aquí, which. Thank you. Excellent. We use which when we want to select between one thing or another, right? For example, which one, let me see. I don't, I don't think you see it, but let's suppose. Which one do you like the most? The green one or the pink one? That the one green you, one. Uh -huh. <laughs> there you have it because it has coffee. <laughs> Everyone, is it raining where you live? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, teacher. In here it's not raining and it's pretty hot. <laughs> All right, everyone, there you have it. Now, let's practice. Let's see this. Practice time. Adriana, please read the instructions. Practice time. Instructions. One, work individually. Two, create the questions using WH Word. Thank you so much. All right, everyone, take your time. Be in peace and complete your question. All right, then we are going to share.
Let me know when you're finished. Finish. Excellent, very good. Finish. Great. All right, let's start. Let's see. Patricia, tell me your double H question. Check. When is your birthday? Excellent, very good. Simple as that, excellent. When's your birthday? Excellent, thank you, Patricia. Laura? Why are you studying English? Mm -hmm. Good question, excellent. Ileana? Who's Camila? Mm -hmm. Great, Adriana? Where are you going after class? Excellent, very good. We are going to have dinner, Adriana, because we haven't yet. <laughs> Let's Sorry see. for you. <laughs> yeah, I know, I understand. Thank you. Anayansi, tell me your question, please. Where is the Tunco Beach? Oh, excellent. Where is the Tunco Beach? Excellent. Yeah, we need to go to the beach. Excellent. Mary. <laughs> Who is your sister? Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good. Karen. Ahorita le digo. Who is your brother? Excellent, very good. That's your brother. There you have it, everyone. Proud of you. You handle it pretty well. Excellent. Now, let's see how are we doing with our reading. Your favorite part, I understand, right? <laughs> Let's see, what's in a name? It says, look at the names in the article. Do you know any people with these names? What are they like? Let's start with Patricia, please. The first two lines. Your name is very important. When you think of yourself, you probably think of your name first. It is an important part of your identity. Excellent, very good. Ileana, the second paragraph. Right now, the two most popular names for babies in the United States are Jacob for boys and Emily for girls. Why are the why are these names popular? And why are some names in popular? Unpopular, repeat, unpopular. Um, unpopular, unpopular, unpopular. Excellent, very really good. Let's see, Laura, continue with the third paragraph. Your microphone. Sorry, teacher. Don't worry. Names can become popular because of famous actors, TV or book characters or athletes. Athletes. Popular names suggest very positive things. Unpopular names suggest negative things. Surprisingly, 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 people generally agree on the way they feel about names. Here are some common opinions about names from a recent survey. Excellent, very good, Laura. Repeat after me, athletes. Athletes, athletes, athletes. athletes. And the another one teacher is surprisingly. Surprisingly, uh-huh. Surprisingly, okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, let's continue. We have the names in here. Let's see, I'm going to ask Mary, Mary, please read the boys' names 
Only the boys' names. Boys' names. Your Jorge. George. George. Aver Boring. Jacob. Great friendly. Michael. Good looking athletic. Stanley. Nearly serious. Thank you. Repeat after me, Mary. Mm, athletic. Athletly. Athletly. Okay, listen to me. Atle. Atle. Tick. Tick. Uh, athletic. Athletly. Excellent. Thank you. All right, everyone. If you notice, it says that George is used for average or boring. Jacob is used for creative or friendly. And Michael, good looking and athletic. And Stanley, nerdy and serious. <laughs> do you believe that? My dear students, do you believe that? No. <laughs> no, uh -huh. because I don't know, there's people who are smart and they are athletic and they are not named like this, right? Let's go with the girls' names, Karen. Girls' names, Betty. All a, all a fashion. Old fashioned? Old fashioned, a bird. Emily, independent and adventurous. Jen, blind. Ordinary. Nicole, beautiful, intelligent. Excellent. Thank you so much. Okay, so it's telling us that American people use Betty to all fashions and average. Emily, if they are independent and adventurous. And Jane, if they are plain, you know what plain means? Like, you don't have ups and downs. You're like, eh to everything. You don't have flavor. <laughs> when you're plain or ordinary, and Nicole, apparently for them, it's to be beautiful and intelligent. Hmm? I don't know. I don't agree with that. <laughs> but let's see. I'm going to have an agency. Please read the last paragraph. <laughs> Uh, so why do parents give, give their children unpopular names? The biggest uh, reason is tradition. Many people are named after a family member. Of course, opinion, opinions can change over time. A name that is unpopular now may now make become popular in the future 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 future. That's good new new for all the George and um, berries out there. Excellent, thank you, Jancy. Very good job with your reading. All right, everyone. Now, let's see. In El Salvador, which are the most common or popular names that we have? Let's see. Juan. Juan. Ana. Juan. Juan, it's true. Maria. Jose. Maria. Carlos. Yeah, exactly. Pedro. So, uh -huh. so the same is in here in El Salvador. It's the same for them. They have like, their own staple of names, right? And as it mentions the information, we need to check this information because it says that by that time, those names were popular. But now, of course, with actresses and actors and singers and all those things, these names have become unpopular. So that's something to keep in mind, right? All right, my dear students, time is up. Your class is going about to finish because I have another course after this one. And I have just some announcements to tell you.
Uh, when we have a lot of exercise, I'm going to send before the exercise. Then, but when we have these kind of PPTs that they don't have a lot of exercises to work with, but they do have a lot of information, I cannot send the PPT before the class, right? Because my job as a teacher is to develop these topics here in class, right? That's the first one. The second one is that, please complete the platform, the exercises within the platform, don't forget, I need you to advance with more than 80% to keep you in the following course, in the next course. If you have any doubts, you can chat me on WhatsApp or something else. Now listen, in this case, Patricia, sorry that I couldn't, I couldn't get your message before, but I was working really hard and I saw that Kevin answered your message with his answers. So I hope that was helpful for you and I hope I could help you in another time, all right? So I'm no sorry. Problem. No problem, teacher. Thanks. All right, everyone. Have a pleasant night. Take care and see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we have class. Bye. Tomorrow see is you. Friday. Yeah, tomorrow is Friday, pero si sí tenemos clase porque el 15 de septiembre no vamos a venir. <laughs> All right, but tomorrow we All do right. have class. Sí, right. Good night, everybody. Thank you. See you tomorrow, everybody. See you. Have a good bye. Bye bye. Take care. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.